Yo guys, Dryan here, and in the past few months we have been building this ginormous palace and it is finally fully finished. In the first video in that series we found a real life castle on the internet and we have also found a floor plan of it and that is this thing right here. We built it into Minecraft. In the next stage we planned out the general shape and height of our build. In the next video we finished the entire exterior of our palace and in our last video we finally finished the full interior which means that this thing is now officially complete and i am so excited to show you because i'm really proud of this it turned out amazing so anyways let's do this Alright, so this is the front of our build. We get the main staircase down here, which goes into the main stairway. On each of the corners we have these little kind of towers, which I think look really cool. Now on the left side of the build we have the garden. So you can see we have a staircase going down on either side. And we got a nice garden over here. We'll go there in a minute. But this right here is probably my favorite view of this build. So. We got a back entrance right here with a nice little fountain. This right here is the clock tower, which is also the biggest tower of this palace. This part right here is the art gallery. Right here we have the music room, which have some really nice windows. I'm really happy with these. And right here in front of the build we have these little tables where people can sit and talk. We also have benches everywhere. And yeah, this is, this is a really cool area. Then if we come to this side of the build, this is probably the worst part of the build. I really do not like this upper part of this tower. I don't know, it's just the colors don't really work. And we also have these like half towers, lookout towers on the sides of the build, which I think look really cool. Right here we got even more tables and this right here is an upper terrace. It's elevated even more than the rest. All right, let's also go around the building once on foot. So you can see this is the main staircase. We got a nice little floor pattern right here, which you will be seeing a lot throughout this build. Right here, we got a covered entrance part. I don't know what this is called. So this right here is the main entrance. We'll go there once our tour around the build is finished. So yeah, this really puts in perspective how big this build is. It is ginormous. Now this right here, we, right now we are underneath the upper terrace. So you also have a staircase on the side here. And from up here you have a few more tables and a little bench. And this right here gives you another entrance into the build. And if you look up, you can see that this is the same roof pattern I used right there with the entrance. I just thought it looked cool, so I used it again right here and in a few other places. So let's continue around the sides right here. This is one of these towers. I don't remember. Oh, I actually did the interior for these. So yeah, nothing's really special. There's nothing to see here. They just exist. They look cool from the outside, but there's no reason why people would go in there. Right here, we also have an extended area of the stone platform, which gives you an even better look of the surroundings. Let's continue around the back. This right here is the art gallery again. And we got all of these nice tables. This right here is the biggest floor pattern of our build. And then we come around to the back entrance. So we got a staircase going down to an imaginary city maybe. And look at that from down here at the clock tower is... It looks absolutely huge. Um, here we have a small little fountain. Nothing really special going on. And we can continue to the side. So here we got two small round towers on either side of the middle part of this build. We can also go inside of here. Again, I use the same roof pattern here. And this right here is like a tea room. People can go here and drink tea. I think it's a nice little area, which again gives you a good view of the surroundings. So this right here is the garden. As you can see, we got a nice tree in the middle and yeah, I, I used a lot of string to make sure that the vines don't grow like crazy. And we just got these nice little flower beds. Right here we got red and pink flowers, red and orange flowers. Here we got a nice little pond. I really like this design using granite and cobblestone. It looks really cool underwater. Next we got these exotic plants. So we 
of course I just used the plants from the nether, the twisting vines and the weeping vines. But I like to believe that the lord of this palace is interested in exotic plants. Right here we got a nice little pumpkin patch, some white flowers. And in the middle we got a big tree with even more rings of flowers all around. Alright, so that was the full outside tour of this palace and now it's time to go inside. So let's enter through the front door and here we are. This is the main stairway. We got our door right here and we got a nice little staircase going up to the main level. Alright, so if we go to our left you can see that this right here is the staircase going up to the next floor. And right now we are in the hunting room. You can see we got some animal heads on the shelves. Again, I just followed the blueprints from the original real life castle. So there aren't many like actual animal heads in this game. And I didn't really want to put dragon heads absolutely everywhere. So I also added in some wither skeleton skulls. Now this door right here leads to the butler pantry, which is basically just a little storage and small kitchen space for the servants. And right now we can also enter the tower, the staircase tower, going up to the next floor and the floor above that. But I don't want to go there just yet. This door basically leads almost directly to the main kitchen upstairs. Now if we go to our right from the main hunting room, we enter the dining room. And as you can see we got a nice little table and my, my snow keeps melting because of these because of these lanterns, but I guess that's fine. So I actually used some soul soil for the carpet. I thought it looks really, really cool. We got some shelves over here for some food and some general decorations like plants. Always add plants in your builds. They look amazing and they add so much. And through this door you can also get into the garden or go and drink some tea with friends. Now if we go back to the main hallway, let's enter in here. I don't really know what this room is supposed to be. Um, we got some seats and a big open area. I guess this is like a feast hall. Lots of things can be organized here. Maybe like, maybe people can dance here. Maybe this is a dance room. Um, and this also connects to the covered bulkways right here. Now if we go through this door you can see that right now we are in a nice little reading area. Close that red door. So we got lots of bookshelves around and I also used the loom to make it look like there are empty bookshelves and I placed a pressure plate right on top of the little strings from the top texture. We also got lots of seats around for people to sit down and read their favorite books. And yeah, this is a really nice room. It was hard to decorate because it's round. I don't know why I decided to make this round, but I did and it turned out amazing. So I'm really happy with this. Let's actually go back to the main stairway right here. So before we went straight and to the left, let's now turn to the right. This right here is another staircase going up. This one is for the servants. This is not a staircase for common use. This is meant for the people that have to take care of the palace and the family of the Lord that lives here. Every palace or castle also needs a clerk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, we just need someone who takes care of the records of the expenses and this right here is his study. You can see we got tons of bookshelves for all of his papers and this right here is his desk. He can write down some stuff. People can also visit him and tell him some stuff. They can sit on these seats right here. It's a nice little cozy area and yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Now if we continue straight, this right here is the library. We got, again, tons of bookshelves around. We have a lot of bookshelves in this palace. We got tons of bookshelves, tons of seats for people to read. And yeah, again, I, I really like this room. There's a lot of detail. And again, I cannot express how important it is to put some plant life in your builds. Like imagine what it would look like if the green leaves weren't there it would all look very brown and that's not good. So I added some little spots of color using the leaves and yeah, I'm really happy with this. And again, this is where we were a few minutes ago. This was a side entrance from the upper terrace into the building. So if we follow the carpet around the corner right here, if we turn to our left, this is the reading area. If we turn, turn to our right, this right here is the art gallery. And this is the room I decided to build fully on camera in the last video. And yeah, we get 
lots of tables on either side of the carpet. We got some mob heads and artifacts, we got some jewelry, we got random stuff, plates, item frames. <laughs> this was kind of difficult because there weren't a lot of like artifacts you can just put on a table in Minecraft. But yeah, you can also see we got paintings on the walls. They're literally inside of the walls. That's why I always build two thick walls in big builds so I can add a little bit more detail and depth. This is one of my favorite rooms. It was so hard to start working on this thing because this middle part is not symmetrical, the roof wasn't symmetrical, these windows aren't symmetrical. It was a whole hassle but in the end it turned out amazing. I'm really happy with this room. So right now we're about to enter this tower right here, the ugly one. <laughs> so let's go in here and let's quickly go back to the art gallery so we can enter from this side. Alright, so this is like a small, again, another sitting slash reading area. We got some random stuff on this table. I don't know why I put a compass on here. And we also have this kind of the same floor design I used in the ballroom. And on either side, you also have access to these the little lookout towers on the side of the building. So these are like the half towers I mentioned before. We also have a staircase going up and this leads to the guest bedroom. So yeah, we got these really, real nice beds. I'm really happy with the design. I also use the orange banner as curtains for the beds. And again, from up here, you also have access to these little side towers on either side of the ugly tower. And I guess that's what I'm calling it now. <laughs> it's called the ugly tower, apparently. So yeah, we also have this weird floor carpet design. I'm not happy with this, but I had to do something on the floor. Anyways, let's enter back through the front door because now we want to enter the second floor. We're gonna take this staircase up and there we go. So this is also quite an interesting room. Um, this also goes to the third floor. We got, yeah, this, this part of the build is basically like the main stairway. So yeah, these are the stairs for common use. Also, you might have spotted it already, but I made, what I think at least, a beautiful window pattern right here. Look at that. This right here, I, I, th I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy with how this turned out. There are a few other window designs around, but this one is by far my favorite. You can't really you can't really see it because there's a lot going on behind it. But if we go to the build without the interior, you can clearly see my design. I think it looks really cool. And again, we have another design right over here and around the back, we have another one in this window right here. So anyways, to enter the main hallway of the second floor, we just need to go in between the two staircases. Let's just go straight. I will give you a better tour of this room when we go to the third floor. Now I just want to show you the second story. So if we go to our left, you can see that this right here is the guest bedroom. We got a few bookshelves. Once again, I, I really put too many bookshelves in this palace. We got an orange bed and we also got a nice little desk. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's a very small room but I managed to fit in everything you would need. If we continue and go to our left once again, this right here is the bath for the guest and I guess also for the honored guest. So this, now that I think about it, this is actually the only bathroom in this entire palace. But anyways, we got a wooden tub right here. We got a towel hanging on the wall. We also, of course, have these curtains in front of the window because we do not want people looking from outside. And we also have a cauldron here. At the end of the hallway, this right here is the butler staircase. I don't know why I call it butler. Maybe I should call it a servant staircase, something like that. This right here is just another staircase for the servants of the palace. So if they are like holding plates with food, they don't have to take the, the main stairway and interrupt other people. Now at the other side of the hallway from the guest bedroom is the honored guest living room. And of course, as you can imagine, this guy has two rooms. So we got the living room right here. We got a table, decorations on the wall. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, <laughs> but it looks cool, so I'm keeping it. And right next to the living room, we got the bedroom. So we got another one of these beds here. This one doesn't have the curtains. And we also have this little turret tower, I believe that's what they're called. Let's go outside via this door to enter the balcony, but I can just fly away. And yeah, this is what I mean. This is the little turret on the side. 
of this building. And yeah, if you're curious what these are supposed to be in the real castle, sorry, in the real palace, it's not a castle, um, he has statues in here, but because of the scale I was building this at, this is only two blocks wide, so there's no way I can fit something that looks good in these areas, so I just left them empty. Anyways, let's quickly go back inside, entering through the balcony, and we also have this closet style thing for paperwork and books, and I used this little trick right here to make it look like one of these shelves is pulled out of it. So that's the bedroom, and if we go through this door right here, again we enter the balcony and via this balcony we can also enter this tower right here again with all towers in this build i didn't really decorate the inside there isn't really anything i can add in here either so yeah this is all i could do basically just a ladder and add in some floors so we went all the way to the left now if we go straight we enter the music room and this is another one of my favorite rooms in this build this how do I even how do I even give a tour of this? So right here you can see that that right there is the second floor and this right here is the third floor. So again this is the music room meaning that there are musicians with their instruments sitting on these chairs. Then the director or whatever it's called, the guy that's swinging his little stick is standing on that platform right over here. The people that want to listen can sit on these benches off to the side. And up here, this is for the royal family. So they have a comfy bench right here on their elevated position so they can still listen to the music, but they don't have to sit in between the peasants. But yeah, I am really, really happy with this build. The only unfortunate thing is that the door is not centered for this room, but that's fine. All right, so if we go to our right now, you can see that this right here is that staircase I was talking about a few minutes ago. This right here is the staircase off to the side of the main staircase. You can just easily go up just like that, making sure you don't fall over the edge. And yeah, this way you end up on the second floor. Now to the left, you can see that this right here is the breakfast room or another feast hall. We got a big table right here with cakes and plates and cups. And again, even more bookshelves. I, I may have overdone the bookshelves in this build. I'm starting to think I put a little bit more than necessary in here. I also used this little trick here using a trap door and um, a fill block instead of a stair. So it looks like one of these chairs is shoved underneath the table. And I did it again over here. There is a door on the other side of the room going into this little part of the hallway. There's nothing here really, but there are two more doors left. And they are all connected from the inside, so I'm just going to enter through this one. This is the private bedroom for the lord of this palace. You can see he has a double bed with, again, these curtains. And he also has his balcony right on top. So that right there is where the balcony is. And yeah, he got his bed, he got a nice little table with a golden plate to eat from. Now if we enter through this door, this right here is his... What is this called? Like a, a walk-in closet? Of course we don't have clothes in Minecraft so you can't really hang them from these tripwire hooks. But yeah, I just imagine clothes hanging here. This is like a bench he can sit on, he can put on his clothes. I didn't really know what to do with this area. I think it's a unique way to get rid of some space. And through this door we enter his private study. This is also the door that connected to the main hallway. So yeah, again we got lots of detail here. We got another one of these closets for paperwork. He also has his lectern for writing. He got even more bookshelves over here. And yeah, I really, really like this room. Can you imagine working here? It looks beautiful. I love it. And once again, plant life is so important. Like, if I delete this, it doesn't look great anymore, does it? It, it, looks, it looks terrible. But this really adds that little pop of color. Anyways, that right there was a full second floor. So this was the staircase going down to the first floor and if we follow the white lines, this right here goes up to the third floor. And yeah, we got yet another reading area. So yeah, I decided to just make this a little bit more open than usual and just put this on top of here. So if you take that staircase and go straight, right now we are back in the music room and I already showed you this one. So let's go back to the hallway, to the left. We have the reading area once again. 
but the next door to the left it's, it isn't actually a door um this right here is the main kitchen it's very cramped as you can see i was struggling with the roof this right here is the roof so yeah i was really struggling to fit it all in it's it's a small it's a very small kitchen so we got some smokers here and their pipes go nowhere <laughs> there's no chimney on this build we got a bin over here for organic trash and some cauldrons for water and a lot of barrels on the ground and on the walls all right so if we go all the way straight until the end of the hallway this is once again that small tower that connects every floor for the servants so i already showed you this and there's nothing special there so i'm just gonna leave it now this room right here is the official feast hall and this is another one of my favorite rooms in this build so i'm just gonna stand in front of this painting right here and yeah you can see we have a ginormous table three meters wide about what is that 12 meters long something like that we got tons of chairs and you can clearly see that this is for the upper class because they got high backs so yeah again we got cakes on top of the table we got plates i guess this is where the lord would sit because he has a golden plate i think yep there's another one right here so yeah, again, it's a little bit cramped in here because of the roof. And I also decided to add in some wooden beams, which it makes it look even cooler. But it also takes up a bit more space. But yeah, I'm still very, very happy with this room. And now there's only one more thing to show you, which is this very dark door at the end of the hallway right here. This leads to the attic. And as you can see, it is super messy. And I have a little bit of a story for this one. So the people that built this castle originally wanted this place to be a an official library, like a huge library with tons of books. But halfway through the building of it, they kind of ran out of money. And that's definitely not just me not wanting to build another library in this build. So yeah, you can see they made the windows, they built the interior walls, they also made a floor. But then the money was just gone and yeah, they just abandoned this project. They also didn't even try to cover up the beams that hold up the ceiling. And yeah, I just got tons of piles of book in here. We got a pile of roof tiles over here. We got barrels, we got crates, we got chests, we got tons and tons of cobwebs. And then there are a few more rooms adjacent to these. If you go straight, you can see that this right here they, they didn't even bother to put in the the planks for the floor so this is like the foundation of the floor this is what holds up the build and then the pretty stuff goes right on top which are these spruce and dark oak planks but they didn't even get to that in this room you can see that there are there are tons of beams everywhere and maybe i may have overdone it a bit in this room anyways if we go back and to our right there's another small room again they didn't bother to put in the floor just yet and we got a nice little window over here but there's another literal hole in the wall that gives access to the clock tower right now we are in the clock tower so this is what the clock looks like from the outside and it goes on all four sides and this is what it looks like from the inside you can see that it is being held up by a very sturdy frame of dark oak logs because of course this tower is probably an immense weight so yeah it really needs those giant beams to hold it up and support it now don't ask me how these clocks work and where the mechanism is <laughs> it's minecraft it's I, I it's a it doesn't need to work it's pure aesthetic and yeah right here we just got piles and piles and piles of roofing tiles and crates also don't ask me who refreshes the oil in the lanterns that's uh yep that just ignore those details <laughs> but anyways that is the full tour of this palace i really hope you like this build i spent so so many hours working on this thing but it turned out amazing so yeah if you want to see the full progress of this build i made three videos of this one the first video being for the planning stage the second video was all about the exterior and my last video was about the interior this series was meant to give you an idea of how i build stuff that i've never built before and i give you tons of building tips and tricks along the way 
I really hope you enjoyed this little series, but unfortunately that does mean that this is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Goodbye!